So, good morning. Less than an hour after my phone arrived, my new watch arrived. I'm actually shooting this on the 15 Pro Max. So, um, this is Apple Watch Ultra. So, I'm upgrading from, if I can open the bloody thing. I'm upgrading from a Series 7 to an Ultra. Always liked, I have it upside down. Always liked the look of the bigger watch. So, I've never actually seen what's in the box for an Ultra. So, this is kind of the manual showing you different things. There's something in at the back here all right that's your instructions or well your safety stuff this is your screen this is your uh, your user guide so i have gone with the i think it's the alpine loop it's either the alpine or the trail loop i can't remember which this is a nice kind of a nice book showing you some of the features of the watch. So I look through that at a later stage. And there's the box itself as I've just dropped the manual. So here is the Apple Watch itself. And then there is the it's the tri loop that I've got. Hook and loop closure. And it's in other languages. And then there's the boxy thing. Everything is everything is in paper, which is as well as for Apple on there. Environmentally friendly stuff. Makes sense. Um all of this. Anything I'm not keeping will be going into the recycling bin, so um let's have a look. So box is nice and lost so here is the actual watch designed by apple in california and their exact gps coordinates which is uh which is nice so again this is a papery kind of yeah this is all paper now here's the Here's the watch itself. Okay, so Sapphire Crystal back. It's got GPS and LTE. Weirdly, well, I don't mean weirdly. So LTE doesn't seem to work properly here in Ireland. So this is a 49 mil titanium with a ceramic case. Sapphire Crystal GPS LTE. Double water resistant to 100 meters. Dive to 40 meters. So it doesn't actually mention Apple Watch or Ultra 2, weirdly enough. It just shows Ultra because I'm getting a text message from somebody. So, um, yeah, it doesn't actually show Ultra 2 on there. So next we have our charger and this is USB-C and so yep it's the standard Apple charger or the standard Apple watch charger USB-C cable and it's braided oh it's a braided charger nice that's gonna be, that'd be very nice to buy that now have a look and see what this looks like here. Ah. I'm gonna do this when handed. It's not easy. Right, let's have a look. Okay. So this is the barrel loop. The nice um feeling 
So I've been using an Apple Watch and I have the actually I've got to take my tablet. Um so I've been using an Apple Watch and I got a metal strap for it. Um a bit worse for wear. I've had this for the last two odd years now at this stage. But I'm wondering is this actually compatible? It looks like it's fairly I'm wondering what my would this strap work with this watch. Interesting. That's something I'm gonna have to try out now in the, in the next while. Anyway, so there's your quick unboxing. Now I've been over everything over for my existing Apple Watch and the new one. Actually, how do I turn this thing on? Probably have to um, plug it in. No, oh, no, there it is. Okay, so that's it starting up. And our screen is quite a bit bigger compared to the screen on the existing Apple Watch. I don't know if you can, well, I suppose. This one is small, but the one outside is far away. Uh, no, never mind. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to get this watch hooked up and configured. So, another video coming at some stage in the next couple of hours. Um, or probably tomorrow. This is video number two for today. Next video, I'll go through setting these up. Well, I'll set these up, and then I'll do a quick update and some other bits and pieces um so yeah all right um like subscribe comment all the usual jazz and i will catch you in the next one good luck bye